Let's begin in Virginia. Lisa, welcome to the Savage Nation. Hi, thank you for taking my call. I am a fourth grade teacher in Virginia, and I am absolutely appalled by this video. It is brainwashing. As a Republican, as a Christian, in my school and in my town, we were told not to speak. I am not allowed to give my view on my religious beliefs or on my political beliefs. But when it came time for the election, we had staff members wearing Obama, Democrat. Um, so there's a double standard in our society and in our But there's only a double standard because we permit the illegitimate left to intimidate us through their threats, their violence, and their big damn mouths. Just look them in the face and say, absolutely not. I'll tell you what I think about God, and I'll tell you what I think about politics. And if you don't like it, you can shove it. Get in their face. Stop being intimidated by them. How's that? Does that work for you? Yes, it does. And that's... that's Get in their face. Get in their face. Don't be intimidated by these left-wing fanatics. Get in their face. Don't be afraid of them. You know, you can do something for America, and I'm not going to say sign my petition. You've heard that already. Wherever you are, whether it be a restaurant, a supermarket line, all you got to do is say to the person you're with or even the cashier, you know, that Obama is acting more and more like a dictator. Just say a simple thing like that or ask the question, then what do you care what they think of you? If you could only get over your middle class shame, if you can only get over your middle class brainwashing, if you can only get over your middle class fear of being called impolite, just say it wherever you are. Think what would happen. Think of the power of 30 million Americans every day said it once. Isn't it frightening how Obama turns out to be such a dictator? What if you said that 30 million times once? Every one of you said it once a day. Think of the power that you have to save this country from this uh, cult of personality, this narcissist and this neo-communist. Neo-communist. Neo-com. 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 I'll say it until you hear me. For eight years, we had to listen to the word neocon every time the word Bush was mentioned. Every time anyone in Bush, the Bush administration talked about the dangers of Islamofascism and the need for a muscular military reaction, the word neocon, neocon, neocon came up. So what goes around comes around. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Now it's time for you to say neocom, 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 with an emphasis on the M, M, M. Neocom, neocom, neocom. You have neocoms running America. A neocom is a new communist. It's a new form of communism. It's not the old form of communism. It's not Stalin's communism. It's not your grandfather's communism. It's not even the Chinese form of communism. It's not the North Korean form of communism. It is a neocom, neocom, neocom. Neocom, neocom, neocom. Tampa, Florida. Steve, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Neocom, 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 neocom.